Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So, a subscriber recently commented in one of my videos in which he asked a question if it is possible for us to create a loop whereby when a visitor hovers on the featured image of a product, it shows another image from that product gallery like all you can see here. And I replied to him that yes, it is possible to achieve something like this dynamically and easily. Now, features like this are mostly achieved with the use of some line of codes that are either hard-coded into the team or other some form of ways but they're mostly achieved with the use of a code now in the case of achieving this with a loop now i'm going to show you how you can do it easily with the help of elementor and acf you're going to achieve this easily without writing a single line of code and it's totally dynamic and straightforward and easy so stick to the end of this video you might learn one or two things so without further delay let's dive in and get started all right, so in our dashboard, the first thing we're going to do is going to head on to the uh, ACF plugin, this, the Advanced Custom Field plugin, and then we're going to create a group. Now, for those of us that do not know much about this ACF plugin and how it works, I've already done a video about that, and that video, the link to that video will be added to the in the description section of this particular video, so you can easily access it and then watch it and get to know more about the ACF. So now, under the field groups, we're going to create a new field group. So just click on this Add New, and then we're going to title the field group to be... Um, product details we're going to title it product details and then for the field type we're going to add a field type for images we're going to add image and then for the field label we're going to call this uh back image okay now that we've done that we're just going to come over to the settings now for the settings we're going to set it to post type we're going to set this set, uh, location rule to show this field group if post type is equal to product but what this means is that for every product we're going to have this particular field group called product details so after we've done that we're just going to click on the save changes and allow for this to load okay now now that this is done the next thing we're going to do is just going to head over to our product so i've taken the time to upload a, a much product as as we're going to be needing to demonstrate this clearly so these are the products i'm just going to edit each of these products and then add the back image to it so to do so i'm just going to open this in a new tab open this in a new tab open this in a new tab open this as well in a new tab so that you can see what i'm doing okay now we are here in the product and uh, you can see the product details you can see the back image here so all you just need to do is to add an image i've also uploaded all the necessary images we'll be using for each of the products that i've uploaded both the front and the back image and you can see that here as shown here okay you can see this is the front image and this is the back image so this is what we'll do so in your own case it depends on whatever image type of product images you have you can also add your product gallery this has nothing to do with this won't affect whatever we are doing so i can just select this boot and add it as a product gallery it doesn't affect whatever we are doing so now that i've done that now it depends on the kind of product you have so if your product doesn't have back and front but you just want to preview another version or color of that product you can still set the uh, the field title here to whatever suits you either back image or product preview whatever you want depends on what you want or what it's easy for you it depends on what is easy for you okay so we're just gonna go further and then edit this and then we'll add a back image here for that particular product so you can see it here this product this is the front and this is the back we'll now add this here and then we can add to the gallery which is not really necessary because we're not going to be using it so we can just add to the gallery but in your situation in your life site that has multiple pictures you can also add to the gallery this will not affect anything so we'll now head over to the next so now that you've seen the process of me adding the images so i'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of the product images uh, the products that i've already uploaded i'm going to do the same thing for them so that uh this video will not be as be very long so to save us time i'm just going to pause this video and then edit all the products on the website and add the back image just like what i'm doing right now all right so i've successfully added all the back images to all the products that i'll be using for this for the purpose of this tutorial so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to scroll down to um, a, a template under the template i'm going to open the team builder now once this loads up we're going to see there's the loop item i'm going to click on this plus icon for the loop item so we'll create a new loop okay we won't be needing this all right so this is it now the first thing we're going to do here is that you notice that the recommended 
widget here has nothing to do with product so we're just going to set this now we're going to go to the settings now under the settings first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this title this our loop and we're going to call it uh over product over product anything you want just so that you remember all right so then we'll now come over to the query now for the query the source type we're going to change it from post to product and then we're going to apply Okay, now you can see that the recommended widget now has to do with um, a product. Uh, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over to the to here and then we're going to add a container. Now on this container we're going to set it this way and also justify content to the center and then align center, uh, align item to the center as well. Okay, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here we're just going to click on this plus icon and we're going to drag. A container to read this container here we're going to drag it and then we're going to duplicate the container we're going to duplicate it now for this one once we've done that the next we're going to go head over to the parent container here and then we'll come down to these gaps and we're going to remove this gap okay so now that we've done that we'll come over to this container here and we're going to make sure that the direction is set to this format and then the justify content here and this one is set to um, center okay and then the align item is also set to center make sure we do that so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to click on this plus icon here and we're going to drag the featured image the product featured image and okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do we make sure that they set the image resolution to full sorry to full set it to full and then we're now going to go to the add style another style we're going to set the width to pixel 300 200 let's set it to 200 and then for the height the height here we're going to give it 200 as well 200 as well and then for the object we to set it to cover so we'll have something like this okay now that we've done this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to come over here to this icon here and then i'm going to come to image just drag an image and drop it right below the featured image here and then i'm going to set a dynamic tag for this now instead of using the featured image i'm going to come over to the acf and then the acf image field select that and then i'm going to click on this branch icon here and then the key for the key we're going to select the key as the back image remember the field type we created when we are creating product details that's a field group product details now this is it we're just going to select it now for this fallback here in a situation where your product do not have a, a back image you want to preview or a preview image you can just set a default image here you set a default image here that the user will see when they hover on a particular product that doesn't have back image they see that default image okay now that we've done that we're going to head over to the style option and then for the width we're going to change the unit for, to pixel and then we'll set it to 200 set it to 200 and then for the height we're going to set it to 200 as well and for the object feed we'll set it to cover center center so we'll have something that looks like this so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to head to the advanced settings now under the advanced settings for this image now we're going to come down to the position and then we're going to give it a position to absolute now for this absolute you can see now in order for us to have this to be to be perfectly above the featured image we just go under the horizontal we're going to remove this zero we're going to remove it and now there is no value there so we'll have a perfect um ha have it placed here perfectly so now now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is just come to the um, featured image here for the featured image we'll come under the style option for the featured image we'll go to the hover we're going to set the opacity for the hover to be zero and then we'll now go back to the advanced settings under the future image now we'll come over to the z index i'm going to give it a z index of five or any figure above zero and now we'll have the future image now in front which is now how it's supposed to be so when you hover on it you can see the the back image now shows on hover you can see so the next thing we're going to do is not go to go to the uh, container this container that houses both the featured image and the back image we we'll edit the container and then we'll come over to the additional option and under the html tag we're just going to come over to the a link and then we're going to add a link to it so that when a user now what this does is that when you hover on it it's clickable the image is clickable it makes the image to be clickable that is why so now that we've done this and everything now looks fine, the next thing we're going to do is we'll head over to the second container, this container here, and then we'll click on the plus icon here, 
for it and then we're going to add the product title we're going to drag and drop it here now for the container we're going to edit the container and go to the advanced settings for the container and give it a padding of 10 pixel and then we're going to unlink this now to the right we're going to give the right 20 pixel and then the left we're going to give it 20 pixel and for the bottom we're going to give the bottom 20 pixel as well so for the text we're going to edit the text go to the style option we're going to change the text color to black and then for the font typography we're going to change the size to 20 pixel okay and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to align the text to uh, the center so we'll have something like this okay now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here to this icon here and then we'll head to the container and drag the container and drop it right below this title now for this container here we're going to edit the direction of the container and set it to row horizontal and then we're going to click on the plus icon and drag another container right into it and then we're just going to duplicate it okay now for this first container here we're going to drag the product price and drop it here and then for the container we're going to make sure we set justify the content of the container we're going to justify the content of the container to the center okay now then the next thing we're going to do is just going to edit this and then in the typography we're going to increase the typography size to less than 25 pixel something like that okay that looks great all right the next thing we're going to do is click on this second container here and then we'll drag a button now the, the button we're going to drag is the add to cart button but we're not going to make use of this add to, this recommended add to, uh, add to cart button so we're just going to search for add and then this is the one we're going to use the custom add to cart button so now we're just going to drag it and drop it here so the next thing we'll do we'll come to the button and then we're just going to remove this add to cart and just leave it at add and then we'll head to the style options now for the background we're going to change the background color to, to somewhat green yeah to something like this okay right and then we've done that the next thing we're going to do is just go to the container now for the container we're going to just find content to the center and then we're going to align item to the end all right so we'll have something like this and i have something like this but okay now that everything looks well looks well uh so the next thing we're going to do is it seems like this a title here this currency and this and the button are not aligned together so let's move this button to the let's do this container and then let's justify content to the start and let's see if they're aligned now okay this looks much better okay so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and then for this container here we're going to give it a pattern of 10 pixel like this so that there is a space between the title and this button and the, and the the price the product price okay now everything is looking beautiful so now let's just style it a little bit we're almost done so we'll just come over to the parent container here and then we'll go to the style option for that and we'll give it a border so we'll give it a solid border and then a border width of two pixel and then for the border color we can give it something light like this so we'll have something that looks like this is still dark so we can still edit the color and something like this so we'll have some all right okay this looks nice okay so now that we've done all next thing we're just going to do is just going to click on publish okay our loop is now live so the next thing we're going to do is now apply this loop to a page so we'll now head to a, a, a page in our website and then we just i'm just going to refresh this page all right so now in this page the next thing i'm going to, I'm going to do is i'm just going to add a container okay for this container here i'm just going to edit the container and give it a padding of 100 pixel all around then i'm going to unlink this then to the left i give it 20 pixel to the right i give it 20 pixel sorry 20 pixel okay and i'll click on this icon here and i search for loop and then i'm going to drag the loop grid drop it here then for the template type i'm going to change the template type from post to product and then for choose a template we're just going to search for the template we've created so i'm just search for hover hover uh okay hover product this is the template we've created okay so we're going to select it now you can see this is what we get so now this looks well this looks nice and then we can still change the column from three column to let's make it four and see what it looks like and then for the items per page let's turn it to eight okay the reason we are still get, we are getting this 
ship here i think we made a mistake somewhere where we added some padding we were not supposed to add so let's go back to our loop let's edit the loop okay for this container housing the this button and the product price we're just gonna edit it okay this is it now we're not supposed to add this padding to the left let's remove the padding to the left and to the right okay now let's update this and then let's go back here and then let's preview oh okay you can see it's it does not take the shape well the right shape everything now looks well so if you hover here over this is what you get this is it and if you click if you should click on this it will take you to the product if you should click on add as you can see and then this is your product gallery that you've added so we go back you can also add to cart you can click add to cart and then you can view your cart here so all right uh and we made another we forgot to do something which is this product title to make it clickable as well so we'll just come over to this product title under in our loop and then we're just going to edit it uh we'll go to the content and we'll add a link to it as well so let's just add a link post your to it so that it's also clickable as well okay so when we come over here uh we preview changes you can see that this is also clickable as well so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new video and if you find this tutorial helpful to you please remember to hit the like button and also drop your comment wherever you're confused and i'll be there to attend to it until then see you next time Bye bye